How's it my orchids and fanboys friends? Dave here with another orchid unboxing. This will probably be the last one for a while um, until about springtime. This is one of the plantae halls. Every single year we get two flowering size plants in winter along with a seedling and then we also get the same in summer. In addition to the members plants I also purchased three additional plants which I'm pretty excited about. One which I saw on Corin's orchids channel. It's actually one of the parents of one of the plants that she bought and purchased which is really stunning. Let's get into it and let's Let's see what we have in here. Don't forget to watch out for my next video which will be on orchid supplies which I'm pretty excited to show you about so watch out for that video. First things first just to show you the Orchid Journal of South Africa. This is the copy that I received in this haul. Ooh. Wow. So I flipped through a few of the pages just briefly and I saw all these engravings. You'll see why that's quite interesting. <laughs> So check this out if you're in South Africa and you've received this copy. This one is last year's copy. Um, I didn't actually get this with the post, so they sent it to me. Um, the first edition of this year isn't out yet. Uh, but check this out. It's got lots on, on in Graycoms and a Graycom K, which is going to help me tons. And we have flowers, which I'm very excited about. Ooh. <laughs> you're going to enjoy this one. Okay, so... This is Vanda Christensoniana. Um, I think this one underwent a name change. I think it's now Ascacentrum Christensoniana, or maybe the other way around, I can't remember. Looks like something actually pollinated this orchid. Yeah, I've actually got seed capsules in this orchid as well, which is quite cool because you know me, I'm starting seed culture, so I'm definitely gonna be making use of these. So this is the beautiful bloom that you can see at the moment. It's obviously only one, it's at the end of its flowering period, but they are absolutely beautiful blooms. The reason I actually got this orchid is because it is a a slightly lower light vanda. Um, I think it's Catlia type light. I checked online. I've really struggled with vandas. Cape Town is not the easiest to, to grow vanda orchids. If you grow them in pots, they tend to fare much better than if they're bare root because you just can't water them sufficiently. So what I've tried to do in the past is transition vandas to <laughs> pots, but you know, if they've got a mass of aerial roots and you try and transition them to pots, it's pretty hectic. Um, usually they've just got root rot and died and I haven't been able to save them. In future, I'm going to have to transition very slowly. So wait for new growth and then put a pot next to the band and let it grow into the pot so it's a whole long process and the other thing is I really like the flowers I like the tiny flowers I like the Vanda Volcartas and things like that and the other thing that I'm super excited about is it's potted it's potted so I don't have to do any transition which is amazing and um, so this one will be a lot easier in my environment so pretty excited about this one and really happy to have her um, so that's the Vanda Christensoniana Next we have the one that I was telling you about, the one that I saw a progeny of on Corin's channel. Uh, she purchased the um, Angraecum longiscot and I decided to go ahead when I found it and purchase the Angraecum scottianum, the species type. This is an absolutely beautiful orchid. If you look online, um, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but for me I just love the, it's almost like, it's like a rambling type vanda. It pretty much goes all over the place. Keeps pretty small I think they can get quite big I'm not sure I can't remember offhand um, but the blooms are really really cool and the special thing about the sangraecum if if you keep sangraecums you know how long they take to flower these ones can flower pretty tiny I think this size or maybe a little bit bigger can actually already flower so that is why I've actually purchased this orchid because I was like I've got all these angraecums and I'm going to wait so long for some of them and I was like I just want to see an angraecum flower well I'm obviously I've seen them in person but I'm in, in my own collection so this one is going to be the one that's going to flower for me soon I don't know if I want to keep it on the mount um, I'm going to have to see how that goes I don't know how drought tolerant they are because I'm not the best at watering mounts although I have a few orchids that do well on mounts so we'll see how this one goes but that's the angraecum scottiana I'm super excited about that one I think I'm going to finish up with the orchids that I purchased first before I go on to the members plants. So let's go on to the next one. Now this one, I'm sure needs no introduction. This is the Darwin Orchid or the Angraecum sesquipedale. I already have one of these in my collection 
but as you will know it got crown rot and set back it now has a cakey forming and I just I just wanted to purchase another one even though I know the other one will make it it's gonna take even longer now to get to blooming size and then I saw this one on their website and it said blooming size and I was like for that price really guys I don't believe that it's gonna be blooming size well turns out it is blooming size so i'm very very ecstatic about this i actually cannot believe the condition of this orchid it's really really healthy and happy and it is really big i mean for what you can usually purchase out there let's put it that way um obviously these do get like massive i don't know where i'm gonna put this in my collection i'm probably gonna have to throw out a few other orchids just kidding <laughs> do that she's going into the greenhouse probably gonna repot her and we'll see how she does so super excited about this one who knows, maybe she'll flower before the Angraecum scotianum and then I'll have, or at the same time, and then I'll have two Angraecums in flower, which will be a first in my collection. Next, we will go through the members plants. I have two flowering size plants here and one seedling. We'll start with the seedling. I have no idea what the seedling is. Um, I always select species type for my seedling, just because I love species. I mean, I do like hybrids as well, but I particularly love species and I'm always intrigued by them. I like to see orchids in their natural state rather than being altered and things. But I do also like hybrids and I do like primary hybrids, but there are a lot of hybrids out there that I don't like. I do have a mix in my collection. I definitely won't say I'm a person that just purchases species, but I do prefer in many cases the species. Okay, so <laughs> I knew this would happen at some point. This is the Bulbophyllum lassiochylum, which I already have in my collection. Obviously, they don't know that because I purchased that at a different place, but the upside to this is I've got the lassiochylum dark. This is the Bulbophyllum lassiochylum. I think it's the standard form. Pretty happy about that, and it is in very good condition, has very nice pseudobulbs, which is in better condition than mine because it was the second bulbophyllum I ever got, and I was still learning at that point. Now my bulbophyllums do pretty okay. I do enjoy bulbophyllum species, so definitely excited about that one too. Okay, the next two are in beautiful, magnificent bloom. I can't decide which one to <laughs> show you first, so I'm just going to go for it. So, this is not a paid promotion, but if you're not already signed up to the Plante Members Club and you are based in South Africa, definitely do. This is an example of what you will get twice a year in flower. Okay, so this is the Paphiopedalum concolor. It is a beautiful species. The blooms aren't in the best condition. They obviously didn't fare well on the transport. But I have another bud coming, so excited about that. At least I can see what the species actually looks like in person. I do like the size of the flowers. I thought it would be bigger, but I'd actually like this little smaller size. And I love the shape of the concolor flowers. It's more oval than round, and it's pointy at the end, the pouch of the flower. And you know me, spotting. Anything for spots for some reason I do love. And I really actually like cream and white colored flowers as well. So yes, very, very nice um, species. This one has been on my list for quite some time. And when I saw it on the members plant list, I grabbed it. I actually wanted to grab it a couple of years ago. And then I, for some reason, chose something else, which I think was a silly move because I think I was scared to get a Paphiopetinum at that time because I think it was my would have been my first Paphiopetinum. Anyways, it's in a really good condition. And I'm super excited about this. I will add it to my collection of Delanati, Purpurata, um, and Malipanensis. Now the last one. This one was not on my wish list. It wasn't even on my radar. I just saw the blooms and I grabbed it with all my fingers. <laughs> so I think this one is a primary hybrid. I think it's Cattleya amethystoglossa by Brassia cucullata. All right, correction. Cattleya purpurata by Brassavola cucullata. I now understand why I love the blooms so much. <laughs> 
because I really like Cathia Peperata and I love the tailing petals of the Brassavola Cucolata. Interestingly, the flower shape actually balances more. So the Cucolata, I think the petals and sepals, I think are more pointy and thinner, but the Cathia Peperata obviously opens up the flowers a little bit more. And to me, it reminds me of a shooting star. They are very beautiful flowers. No fragrance. I expect this to be a nighttime scented orchid. So we'll see if it does have any scent in the evening. Super excited about this one. Really, really love this flower shape. I saw them online and I just had to grab it. So this is an excellent plant in excellent condition. I think I'm going to transfer this one a little bit more gradually to my setup. Um, so let's see how that one does. So that's the beautiful collection of plants that I received now from Plante. Stay tuned to see what happens with these seed pods and to see how these orchids do in my collection. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content such as this. Stay safe, keep well guys, bye.